tuning in for the first time welcome aboard today in my kitchen I am going to be preparing for you a nice corn chili and red pepper muffin so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will not miss out on any videos your girl Andrea has put up and share my videos with family and friends and certainly subscribe so for this recipe what I'm going to be using is flour one cup of flour, four teaspoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, cornmeal, and this is the yellow cornmeal, one cup of yellow cornmeal, one medium egg, butter, one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to be using some corn oil. I'm using quarter cup of corn oil, aceite puro de maíz. For those of you who want to learn a little Spanish, aceite puro de maíz. I hope you all don't cuss me out for pronouncing it wrongly. All right, so here we go. I have some milk. Now, if you want, you can use the carnation milk, any milk you want to use. Not breast milk, yeah? don't use no breast milk. Don't say I say to use breast milk, all right? Um, I'm going to be using some chili, half a teaspoon of chopped chili pepper added to this. And also some bell pepper half a chopped bell pepper also I'm going to be using some basil two tablespoon of basil leaves chopped and of course you must use some corn kernels I'm using two cups of corn kernel and I have to bring some brown sugar I'm going to be using one tablespoon of brown sugar so here we go with the recipe Okay, so to this bowl here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the flour. The flour goes into the bowl. In fact, I'm putting all the dry ingredients. You have the salt. The baking powder goes in also. And what you want to do is to combine it together. And you're going to add the cornmeal. A little bit at a time. And also you're going to add the sugar. And one tablespoon of brown sugar. We are making some muffins today. We're making some corn, chili, and red pepper muffins, guys. You can take a fork and you can whisk one egg. Whip it up for a couple seconds. And I'm going to add the oil to the egg mixture. Here goes the oil. And also the milk. You whisk it. And this mixer here, you're going to add it now to the dry ingredients.
and you mix it but you don't want it to be too soft you want it to be kind of lumpy you know muffins must be kind of lumpy you know that so this is how it looks like then we're gonna add the peppers we're gonna add the chili the bell pepper It already has a beautiful color. The kernels, and you have to drain the kernels, okay? I got this from a can, so you want to drain it. Take all that water. Two cups for this recipe. This is a very tasty and rich, nourishing um, muffin. Now we're going to add the basil and the softened butter. And you want to put this in um, muffin trays. You will grease, uh, I will grease um, muffin trays and add like three quarter fill each one of the trays. And put it to bake in an oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for at least half an hour. So I'll be back and show you how I put it in the tree. While the oven is being heated up and preheated from 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to take some um, of this muffin, just a spoonful, in a butter tray. And you just put some in each one of them. You don't want to overpack it. You want to take it and, and fill it. I think this will make at least 12. 12 delicious muffin. So if you want to try something new, you want to make something for your loved ones, why not try out a new recipe? Corn is very good. And you know in the Caribbean you have a lot of corn. So all you need to do is to boil the corn. If you're using fresh corn, you boil the corn and shut your... your um, Strain out the water, and you can use the corn in this recipe. For those of you who have no accessibility to fresh corn, you can use the, the corn in the can like I did. Okay, so, um, guys, I want you all to be safe out there. COVID is still around. Make sure you wear your mask, double mask if you can. Yes, double mask if you can to prevent you from picking up any sort of um flu all right keep yourself safe because um love you guys and i just want you all to be safe with me yes it does have a little more extra but we just making 12 here probably i will fit those areas that um don't have enough i'm just gonna put some extra so Muffin today coming from Miguel Andreas Trini Kitchen with a little bit of chili and cornmeal. I'm going to use all of it and stick it in the oven for at least half an hour when it is heated to 400 degrees. So this amount, this ingredient will give you 12. All right, when the oven is heated, I will just stick it in and I will show you the end product of this muffin. See you guys in a little bit, bye. Muffin came out, really delicious. I'm going to 
Take it out for you and show you how it looks. Look at that muffin. And you can drink, you can have this with a nice cup of tea. Any type of tea you want, you have a nice cup of tea and you sit down and you watch a little movie. So try this um, recipe. Tell me how it came out, leave a comment in the comment box. And as I've said, don't forget to subscribe to my lovely channel. Simply delicious looking. I can't eat it right now because it's very hot. So I'm just going to display it for you guys. So you see what I'm talking about. like some carnation milk in my tea. So see you guys again with another great video. This is your girl Andrea saying be safe out here.